Endpoint security is your last line of defense on your network. But by the time that security software needs to kick in, it might just be too late. So a layered network security approach has to be taken. And I'm going to talk about one layer at the firewall level. Since the firewall is at the perimeter, why not stop malicious traffic before they enter your network and protect devices from communicating with bad actors? Now, Palo Alto Network's firewalls have built-in external dynamic lists, lists of known malicious IP addresses. Palo Alto Networks maintains these lists. And with a threat prevention license, you'll be able to use them in your security policies. There are three external dynamic lists that we're going to look at. The first is a bulletproof IP address list. These are IP addresses from bulletproof hosting providers. They are hosting providers who are very lenient on what type of activity is done on their infrastructure. And it's a perfect place for bad actors because the hosting provider won't even cater to any complaints. The second is high risk IP addresses. This list will contain IP addresses that land in threat activity advisories issued by third party organizations. And the third list is known malicious IP addresses. These are verified malicious by wildfire analysis, Unit 42 research, and data gathered from telemetry. Now, before we configure security policies with these lists, let me show you how to find these lists. All right, so I'm logged into Palo Alto Firewall here, and at the top, I'm going to click on Objects here. And from the left navigation menu, you're going to click on External Dynamic Lists. From here, you'll find all of the different dynamic lists, but the three that I was talking about was here, the bulletproof IP addresses. You won't be able to modify these lists, but you'll be able to see the content. So here you can see the different IP addresses and the ranges that are part of each of these lists, right? So these are the list entries. To leverage these lists, we will create policies to block traffic coming from or going to these IP addresses. So in the firewall, what I want to do is head over to the policies at the top and we'll go to security on the left. I could create a single rule that matches all three of these lists, but I'm going to create two rules for each list and I'll, and I'll show you why. All right. So from here, we're going to create some policies. So under policies and security, I'm going to go down to the bottom and click add. We're going to create a first rule which will say block inbound from bulletproof IPs. From the source, I will select the untrust source or untrust zone, which is what I have as anything that not internal. That's the outside. Now in the source address, this is where we're going to select our list. So I will click add and down below, you can see that we have external dynamic lists and I will select that built-in list for the bulletproof IP addresses. And so there we go. Anything from these IP addresses from the external zone or the untrust zone. And the destination will be any zone that I want to protect. And so I will include all of the uh, zones that I trust on my network. And in the actions, we'll just want to draw or deny this traffic. We do want to log it because we'll see the set log session and you could log session start or even do some log forwarding. But for now, that's what I'll set. So now that rule got added to the bottom, but I really want to move it to the top. All right, so that rule sits as number two, which there is a rule being pushed by Panorama that it sits right underneath it. Now from here, this is just blocking the inbound uh, from those dynamic lists. But what if I have a device that is already on the network. Let's say it came from, from somebody's home, a laptop that they brought home from work and they bring it back into the network and it got compromised maybe at home. And so here we'll add another rule. I'll put it right below that initial rule. And this time we're gonna block outbound to bulletproof IPs. And so the source could be any of the zones that I had in the previous rule that I listed as a destination. That'll be from any source address on these zones, these source zones. And for the destination, this time I will select the untrust and I will select a destination address of that same external dynamic list. There we go. 
and and from the actions I will hit deny, right? And we could log start and start and end as well. And I want to log this because I want to see what devices on the internal network are trying to reach a known bulletproof IP. So I'll hit OK there. And then we will create uh, similar rules for the other two lists. All right, I have a total of six rules. I did it this way just to show you something. So let's say a device got compromised and is trying to reach a command and control server. Someone just plugged their laptop into the network and if that command and control servers on the dynamic list, it'll get blocked by the firewall. If an IP address is on the list tries to get to a device on our network through this firewall, it will also get blocked. And the reason why I, I have six different lists is just to show you how you can look at the, the hit count on here, which is I have one column for the hit count. And that'll be easy to distinguish which, which dynamic list you're hitting. You could end up creating them all under one policy rule and, and do it that way as well. Okay, in this production environment, I'm showing you the different rules that we have that match these dynamic lists, the external dynamic lists. And we have tagged them with malicious just so they're easy to see. But if you scroll over to the right of this firewall, there is a column for hit count and you can see how often this rule is being hit. With that, it is easy to see what traffic is actually matching this rule and we would have to go and do that from the monitor traffic section but what i want to do is uh, look at a very specific rule for the outbound right because that's th th those are devices on our network trying to reach malicious ip addresses so we have this rule drop outbound to malicious ip and i saw there were quite a bit of hits there over over nine thousand hits Right? And the last hit was just today, around 11.53. So if I go to the monitor tab, and here we are denying traffic. These are all the, um, from the specific source IP addresses that are trying to go to a malicious IP address. You can see which rule it is with a policy deny action. And what we can do from here is be able to go and track down this device to see why it is trying to reach malicious traffic. Now I keep these rules at the top of the list so that they are matched right away and the firewall will get the uh, updates for these lists from the content updates. So make sure you have an active threat prevention license. Now I'm curious if you are using these external dynamic lists let me know if you've caught a compromised device this way in the comments down below. Thank you.